Hi everyone, hope you're fine. Welcome to Digestuff videos in Digestuff YouTube channel. Today we are looking at a new gear, a new powerful gear. It's not a controller, it's not a mixer, it's not a turntable, it's even not a multimedia player, USB player. It's a it's an FX. It's a delay, a dub delay uh, box from Erika Sins, the Zin delay. So this little box is so amazing. Let me introduce a little story. I went to Instagram and watching my field and uh, the, in the picture I saw this unit. First, my first thought, thought that was that this unit is very beautiful, very beautiful, beautiful design, beautiful parts, everything beautiful. And I said to me, oh, I have to look at a video, something like that to, um, to watch what you can do with this unit. And of course, like a DJ, I saw that there is a stereo input, stereo output. I said, maybe, I said, no, I'm sure I want to test this, uh, this box, this uh, Dilly box. So it is a collaboration between Erika Sins. Uh, they, make, uh, they make a lot of synthesizers, uh, high-end uh, synthesizers, and they made this little box, this little delay FX, and with Ninja Tune, it's an uh, English label, independent English label. So they collaborate to make, a, we can call it a dub delay, because you have some delay, but they are making some sounds not very quantized with the beat. The beautiful thing with this, uh, we will see with, uh, you will see with the connections, is that you can tap the tempo if you want to have a delay very quantized, but you can also have the clock directly on the um, Apple Link or something, a device sequencer, uh, a sampler, something like that. It has a MIDI in input in the back of the unit, so you can easily, you know, for example, I take this sound here, the first, so I can tap the tempo like that. And have my FX, for example, I can tap something like that, but I can put my MIDI signal, oh, let me put it, and I will do the video with that. Oh. Okay, you have just to push longer the tap button and it will take, you see? And what's really cool is that you can directly down or up the tempo from your other unit and have the um, MIDI clock directly in the unit. You have also, but we will see in the connection, a uh, jack uh, jack uh, input if you want to um, have a pedal or a pedal something to uh, activate some uh, some FX. So pretty good to have a MIDI clock inside and not to have tap tempo every time you want to uh, put a, to put an FX. So little box first, we will see each. FX, uh, each delay, uh, you will have five delay inside with a little uh, selector here and each uh, delay with each parameter and we will see after in the end of the video little combination if you want to see how it goes. So why it's a Zen delay? A lot of delays, pedal FX, etc. Uh, you can make um, some delays but when you push out of the button, you can have a feedback, um, large send feedback. You see when the same, when you put your mic with your speaker and you don't have the control of that. What is really cool with this, this unit is that like the name said, Zen, uh, you can have a hard preset on each parameter and don't have this feedback in your speaker and don't blow your speaker or something like that or blow your heel. So let's go to each, um, each delay, each parameter and let's go after for a little sound uh, with all of that. 
So first one is the tape delay. So you push tape like that, you will have the tempo. I will put some music with the djembe. And let's go. So first you have your dry wet pot to put less or more uh, FX. And I will take my headphone. Oh, so take your headphone to listen carefully because sometimes you will listen to very, very great sound, great low pass filter, etc. So take little advice, take your headphone. It's pretty good. So I'm going to do the same. So first dry wet to have the volume, the amount of your delay. The feedback allow you to have, listen, little feedback. You see, if I make a bigger feedback, more longer, it's a feedback. And what is cool with this feedback is that you can have um, a feedback looping. You can have a loop when you are uh, near, uh, near two or three o'clock, like that, you see? I can disengage my FX here. And I have my FX. And I can play with it like I want. So, first parameter here. After, you can have a, a filter, a low pass filter, high pass filter, and pass band with the same thing. So, low pass without resonance. with resonance pay attention of the resonance because you will have a lot of things here with the resonance at its maximum you will see so the filter is only on the feedback of the delay you don't have a filter on the music after high pass the left to the right. With resonance. So you can combine with the delay time, for example. For example, with a low pass. And finally, the pass burn. Just with only a jumbe. And look at the resonance. Oh yeah.
So now I have only my filter. If you still can hear this frequency, you have good ears. Yeah, you can still hear it. Ah, 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 I can't. I, can't. Ah, I have something. I can't. And look at this low. Oh, yeah. So it's the resonance, but you can also put some music like that. Oh, oh. And at the end, the drive with a little lamp here. You see, you can apply a little drive like like that, not too much, of course, and now this can apply a little FX like that just one time Pretty amazing. So this was just the tape FX. Ta -da -da. Let me put everything off and let's go to the tape ping pong, the second one. With little music, for example. Base, 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 base. Mm -hmm. 
after the digital ping pong. Oh, oh, oh. Everything at zero. Let's go. Chop, chop, chop. No resonance, Leo. I can put a low pass if I want. For example, after the digital, only digital, when you have something you can filter your original Bye bye. Oh, everything at zero and the last one, the vintage. You, it will make a little vintage delay on your uh, FX. Okay, so you have seen everything on this unit and let's see when you make something with all this, all those and touch a little bit the limit of uh, the unit.
so you will tell me, oh, okay, the jumpy is okay, but I want to hear something else. Okay, something else. Um, let me try with uh, the, the same instrumental and the a cappella into it. Let's go. Um, and here it is. This unit is very, very, very amazing. Um, so, like I said in the beginning of the video, you have some connection, of course. So, let's go to them and see what we have at the back of the unit. Hey, watch this beauty. I wanted to test it so bad, so bad. So, Zindili, the connections, you have your power supply, the MIDI input, to have the clock very important so amazing to have it on an, this uh, on this type of unit you have the stereo jack input stereo jack output for your send return for example and you have the expression or jack control if you want to control the fx with a pedal for example so it was the erika since and ninja tune collaboration the zen dilly uh, little Dilly, Dub Dilly box, very amazing product. You can see all the things you can do with it. It's just a delay, but you have perhaps inf you have infinite combination combinations to uh, to make your own sound, your own delay. It's pretty pretty cool. I love to test it, and I'm very happy to have it, and that the brand sent me this uh, this unit. If you have any questions about this product, about this Dili Zen Dili, um, feel free to ask under the video or on the website. You have a contact uh, part or directly on Facebook. See you next content and thank you for watching this one and um, take care everybody. Bye bye.